April on Tasty Tuesday with our taste tester, Justin. Hey! Today we are going to make the easiest, most delicious thing ever, chocolate fudge. I added walnuts to mine, but you can add whatever you like, so let's get started. So let's go over the ingredients you'll need for this chocolate fudge. One can of 14 ounce condensed milk. Two cups of chocolate chips. One or two cups of walnuts. Vanilla extract, salt. So you're gonna place that condensed milk into a saucepan and turn that to low. Next, you're ready to add the chocolate chips and you're going to melt that. And remember to keep it at low because you don't wanna burn the bottom because then it won't melt completely. Keep on mixing. And once it's completely melted, you're ready to add the vanilla extract and continue to mix. Then you're ready to add the walnuts and fold those walnuts in. And then you're ready to pour it into a pan. And I lined mine with wax paper because it makes it easier to remove the fudge. And then you're going to go ahead and place some more walnuts right on top. It just makes it look super gorgeous and delicious. All right, you guys, refrigerate for two hours. After that, you're ready to cut them up and enjoy. So that is my chocolate fudge recipe. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, we got taste tester. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, this looks I feel like if I refrigerated it longer, it would be harder, but I kind of like it when it's like ooey gooey kind of. Also, we yeah. were pretty eager to try it. Yeah, it yeah, I was really excited. Mmm. Ooh, you like it. Well, you, of course you should because it's condensed milk and you really like condensed milk. Oh, and he, Justin loves nuts. This Anything is like, with nuts, yes. This is like the perfect fudge consistency, Thank honestly. You. Have you guys ever gone to like, there's these parts of the country, in particular there's one called Wisconsin Dells, which is near my family, and they have like a bunch of water slides, but they're also known, they have all these like fudge shops. Mm -hmm. I had this really vivid memory as a kid when I went there with my family and uh -huh. we would eat fudge. And honestly, like, I think this fudge is like just as good as some of those like places that like specialize in fudge. Thank it's really you. good, honestly, Thank especially you. with the walnuts. I think it all depends on the type of chocolate chips that you want to use, mm -hmm. you know, like, mm. yeah, if you want to use milk chocolate or semi-sweet. I also think adding mm. a little bit more salt adds to the chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have one idea. Mm -hmm. I, this might be crazy. Mm -hmm. This might be crazy, so hold on to your seat, guys. <laughs> Coconut flakes on top. Oh, maybe. You like that? I don't know. I don't usually like it, but for some reason, I'm biting into this. I'm chewing it. The taste of coconut, I feel like, would oh, be good. Like an almond joy. Kind of. Oh, yeah, very maybe. Cool. I, is that bizarre? No, not at all. I thought he was gonna say peanut butter because he loves peanut <laughs> yeah. butter. Even better, I get peanut butter chips. On they top, also have maybe. peanut butter Or like butter Reese's. Oh. Yeah, if I could make really that delicious. for you, let mm. me know. Yeah. Anyhow, thank you, friends, so much for watching. If you enjoyed Tasty Tuesday, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.